contracts can be very useful to farmers when making production decisions and marketing their production. A written agreement helps avoid misunderstandings that can occur in business transactions. There are several types of agricultural contracts, ranging from production contracts to minimum price contracts. A popular contract is a deferred delivery contract. A DDC is an agreement by a producer to deliver grain to a buyer by a certain date. Such a contract typically specifies price, quantity, quality or grade, delivery location, date of delivery, and sometimes the transportation method. But why would a producer sign a contract? Well, for example, a deferred delivery contract eliminates the risk of price decline on the contracted quantity, provides delivery opportunity that may coincide with the need for cash flow, requires no margin money, as in the case with a futures account, and is widely available. Here are some items that producers should consider in a contract. A contract specifies a base grade associated with the contract price. But not all contracts include a price schedule for delivered grades above or below that base grade. Producing a different grade than that specified in the contract usually does not remove the delivery commitment, so a producer should completely understand how the final grade will be determined and what the implications of a grade differential would be for product deliverability and price. Base contract grades may differ between grain buyers, so when comparing contract prices, always check on the grade to which that price relates. A product shortfall may result in a buyout penalty, usually equal to the volume shortfall multiplied by the current price that the buyer would have to pay to replace the product. Some contracts can be filled by another producer, which provides a backup plan in case of a production or grade shortfall. If such a clause is contained in the contract and the producer has a production shortfall, the amount produced would likely still be deliverable, but the shortfall would be excused. The contract should indicate the delivery period for the product. As a producer, ask yourself these questions. If I don't deliver by a specified delivery date, does a penalty apply? Does delivery delayed by the buyer result in storage payments to me? Does a delay in receiving payment from the buyer result in interest charges accruing to me? So with all these clauses, producers should carefully read and understand a contract before signing it. Ask the buyer's representative for clarification of any uncertain point and consult legal counsel before signing if you have any unresolved concerns with the contract. And keep in mind, a contract is still valid if written amendments are agreed to by both parties, so don't feel you can't adjust it before signing. Handled carefully, contracts can be a valuable tool in producing and marketing farm production. For more information on contracts and marketing strategies, hop online and view our marketing manual.